Today we're covering classwork 6.3 or 4.6 part 2 in the book. We're going to start right here at this tan equation. So think of this as like a basic tan formula. And there is a B there, but today we're going to assume, or for this example, assume B equals 1 for this graph. So immediately I'm going to draw an asymptote here and here. And underneath that, let's write pi over 2, negative pi over 2. So that's going to be essential to understand first, that negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 are your normal asymptotes. So again, that is really, really important. So make sure you highlight that in your notes. So I'll put a box right there. That's super important. Then from there, let's scale the rest of it. So this should be pi over four. This is negative pi over four. This will be a and negative a. From there, we're just gonna draw our tan wave. And hopefully you remember from trig, it looks like a basic uh, cubic graph. So right there, and that's gonna be one wave. So also note that this continues forever like that. In both directions. So I'm going to put dot, 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 dot. That continues forever. Other important things to notice here is the period is shorter. The period is actually equal to pi over b rather than 2 pi over b, like our sine cosine waves. So a little bit different there. And the final thing to write down, this is very important, so I'll put this in blue underneath. Tan normally increases. So notice that this graph from left to right is always going up. That will be important to remember, tan increases. That's all we need for our basic note. So let's go to our first example now. We're gonna graph y equals two tan x over two. So start with step one. We're going to list our a or amplitude value that's two our period instead of two pi over b we're going to do pi over b so that's going to be pi over one half which is simply two pi so step one is done step two this is where the way i teach it deviates from most people i'm going to have you find your asymptotes now, the way we're going to do that is a little unique. I want you to grab this BX term right here. So we're going to grab this thing, put it right here, X over 2. And we're going to make an inequality and set it between the normal asymptotes for 10. So again, the normal asymptotes for 10 are pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. And that should make sense if you think about the unit circle. Like on your speed quiz, 10 of pi over 2 would be undefined, and so would tan of negative pi over 2. They're both undefined. Now from here, what we're going to do is solve for x. So simply multiply by 2. So x is between pi and negative pi. Now you box that. Now you think about what you just found. These are your new asymptotes, meaning after the transformation is done, those are your new asymptotes. And the reason I have you find that first is because I want you to graph it in respect to those asymptotes. So let's watch. Let's put our y-axis down. X-axis. We know there's an asymptote right there. That's negative pi. There's an asymptote right here. This is pi. And this is going to be pi over 2, that's negative pi over 2. Let's scale the y-axis with our 2 and negative 2. And now we're going to sketch the graph. The first point's easy, that's just the origin. Notice how this is a positive 2 right here, which means it's just a regular increasing tan graph. So draw your, cu or your cubic curve right there. and label. 
that's pi over 2 comma 2 negative pi over 2 comma negative 2 and 0 0 and there's our graph now for domain range we're going to start with our range. That should be the easiest one. You should notice immediately that's just all real numbers. That's pretty straightforward. The domain, similar to yesterday, we're going to put x such that x cannot be. Pick any asymptote. So I'm going to pick pi here. And then notice that this distance, I'm going to put this in blue. This distance is actually a full period, which means all we're going to do is put pi plus the full period, which is 2 pi k. And that's our domain. So again, for your notes, that first pi is any asymptote. And this 2 pi is going to be the period. Whereas for cosecant and secant, we were doing half the period. And there it is. Okay, so for our next example, we'll go through it quick now. So step one, we're going to write the A value is 1. The period, just do pi over B. That is simply pi. There is a phase shift now. That's going to be pi over 4 to the left. Now we're going to approach it the exact same way we did before. Step two is going to be find your asymptotes. You're going to grab this thing right here, this bx term, x plus pi over 4. You set inequality and you think, what are the normal asymptotes? They are pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. Now we solve for x, so let's just subtract pi over 4 from everything. So x should be between pi over 2 minus pi over 4. No, positive pi over 4. And the other side, that's a negative one. That's negative 3 pi over 4. Okay, box that. And right there, we have our new asymptotes. So now let's go to step 3. We're going to graph it. This is going to be a little bit trickier because it's not centered, which makes sense because there's a shift here. So I'll put 3 pi over 4 right there. I'm going to put pi over 4 right here. There's our x-axis. Now we got to think about the middle. So the best way to find the middle of anything is just think of it as like taking the average. So if you were to add negative 3 pi over 4, I'll write that here, plus pi over 4. We're looking for the average, so just add them and divide it by 2. So this would be negative pi over 2 over 2, which is negative pi over 4, which means that must be our middle, negative pi over 4. And then that makes sense because that would mean this right here is the origin. So let's put that there. And this would be negative pi over 2, or negative 2 pi over 4. So there we go. Now let's scale it on the y-axis. So a is 1. So I'm going to put this is 1. This is negative 1. And let's draw our tan wave. We can see that it's positive 1 for the a value. So let's just make it an increasing wave. And there we go. This label would be negative pi over 2, negative 1, negative pi over 4, comma 0, and 0, comma 1. And there's our wave. Okay, now let's do domain and range. The range is the easy one. That's just everything. The domain, we're going to write all x such that x cannot be. Pick an asymptote. I'll pick pi over 4 plus the period, which is pi. So pi k. And there is your domain, there's your range, done. All right, so that is our complete tan notes. Now let's go to cotan. 
So Kotan, I drew it up at the top for us. Kotan's pretty similar. The difference is going to be where the asymptotes are. So the asymptotes are right here, 0 and pi. So again, we're going to assume b is 1 to keep this simple. But here's our scaling, a, negative a, 0, pi. And now it's just like every other graph we've been doing for like sine and cosine. Now the graph of cotan, if you think about it, tan would increase. Therefore, cotan is the reciprocal. So cotan's points should do the opposite, which means it would decrease. So our cotan wave is looks exactly like the tan wave, except it's a decreasing wave. So underneath, we're going to put a big star here. Cotan normally decreases. The normal asymptotes are 0 and pi. Okay, so again, you want to write that down. That's very important. And you're going to want to box that. And the period is, I mean, it's the same thing, right? Just do pi over b. That's really nothing new there. But I'll box that because that's important. OK, so I think that's all we need for our notes for cotan. The tan one takes a little bit long. The cotan one is actually a lot faster. So hopefully you guys can see why right now. I'm going to start by doing our step one, like our tan graph, to a value 3. The period pi over b, which is pi over 2. Step 2, find your asymptotes. So grab the 2x. But instead of putting it between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, you put it between 0 and pi, because those are the regular asymptotes for cotan. And notice how this is much easier because of that 0. Solve for x, you get x is between 0 and pi over 2. And notice how that's really, really nice for your new asymptotes. So step three, let's graph it. That zero makes it really nice because now we can go back to that t we like doing for sine and cosine. I'm going to put my a value. That's three, negative three. That's zero, one, two, three, four. The fourth tick mark, we know this is pi over two. And again, that's using our asymptotes, because we know, this in red, there's an asymptote at 0 and at pi over 2. So the cotan graph should feel pretty comfortable. Now from here, let's not forget to scale the middle. That would be pi over 4, pi over 8, and 3 pi over 8. And now let's just graph the wave. So point in the middle, and we can see this is a regular 3, positive 3 which means it's a normal cosine wave or a cotan wave. So that's going to be decreasing like that. That's pi over 8, comma 3, pi over 4, comma 0, 3 pi over 8, comma negative 3. And that's it. OK, so the last example, this is basically the exact same thing. So I'm just going to write the answer out for you just to save time. So a equals 3, the period is going to be pi. And then you can see a phase shift of pi over 4 to the left. And then same exact thing, right? x plus pi over 4, that's between 0 and pi. So x should be between 3 pi over 4 and negative pi over 4. And then you just sketch your graph. Oh, we didn't do domain range here. So let's go back to that. Domain of this one. Range. So the range is all real numbers for that one. And the domain is all x such that x cannot be 0 plus pi over 2k. OK, so we go back to this example, let's just graph that. So we have negative pi over 4, 
3 pi over 4. Draw your x-axis. Let's scale it. And the middle should be pi over 4, I believe. So our 0 is right there. And this should be pi over 2. And then we have 3, negative 3. And then this is a regular cotine wave, so we'll de make it decrease. Okay, so there's our wave. I'm not going to label that just to save time. And then our domain and range, of course. The range is all real numbers. And the domain, cotan range is easy because you're going to have, it's like the same thing as tan. So just pick an asymptote, right? So negative pi over 4. plus the period, which is pi. Okay, and that's it.